Hey everyone, thank you again for joining me. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at something absolutely amazing. So this right here is the P2 from Thermomaster. It is the smallest thermal camera in the world with a maximum range of 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit and Razer X patented AI image algorithm. To be honest, I have been using this now for the last week and I've been using it for everything I could possibly think of for this P2 thermal camera. All right, so taking a look at the inside, you have the quick start guide for the P2 series from Thermal Master. It is a bit thicker. However, there is a lot of information packed in here and it's in several different languages. I can't wait to show you exactly how tiny this thermal camera is. Generally, you think of a thermal camera, you think of something bigger and bulky. Not this, this is tiny. So, and then the other item in there from Thermal Master that comes with every unit, and it says, dear user, thank you for purchasing, and goes on to talk about the company and information that you'll need to get started. And if you have any questions or customer service issues, it's very easy to get a hold of Thermal Master right there. This isn't even the thermal camera. Inside the holder, for the thermal camera. So in the bottom of the box there, you have a nice clip. You can actually clip it to your keys. That's where mine's been for the last week. And I have been using it so much. So very quickly, the other items in the box here, you actually have an extension cable. That way you're able to plug this in to your phone and then place the camera on the end. So you don't have to just have it plugged into the bottom of your phone. And then opening up the camera, this right here is so extremely tiny. This right here can compete with some of the bigger thermal cameras on the market. This small thermal camera is absolutely mind blowing. There you have the Thermal Master branding. So this model, the P2, unfortunately will only work with the Android platform. However, there is a new version, the P2 Pro, which will work for both Apple and Android. It's so easy. All you do, download the Tempmaster app, is place it in the bottom of your phone, and instantly it pops up the app. You can go to your gallery, you have your settings, you have customer service, tap the camera button, and within maybe about three or four seconds, camera comes up. You can see, wow, that actually is still quite warm. So just taking a look at several different items here. I had the bag of green peppers and I placed it right here. Now you can see that it is still fairly cold. This has come in handy so many different times. Um, extremely accurate, easy to use. Show you guys again here. If anyone from the 90s, 80s remembers hypercolor shirts, that's what it looks like. And again, extremely accurate temperatures all around. I review many items on this channel, many of which are flashlights. And I always want to know how hot, you know, certain flashlights get if you're holding it in your hand. And this right here is an amazing tool. I don't only check out the heat from flashlights, but also automotive, which I used today uh, earlier to take a look at my AC, my air conditioning system. It's very easy to control what area you're looking at. And you can remove all of the temperature information if you want. Actually, I've used this three different times in the last week to find air leaks and fix them from around different windows in my home. Many different settings that you can adjust to your liking. Depending on your usage, there are many different modes that you can go into. Just showing you the difference. Absolutely cool. You can see the heat signature even around the flashlight where it's sitting. Check that out. <laughs> so many different color options to choose from. I can't even put into words how impressed I am with this camera. I looked at reviews online and thought, wow, this has so many great reviews and for many good reasons. And you can see still that this mat is holding in that cold from the green peppers that I placed there earlier in the video. So many different options and settings. Uh, you can rotate the camera. So if there's something in particular you're looking at, you need to flip it upside down. You can actually mirror the image 
and it gives you the option to scale the information in the screen. It shows you the coolest temperature and the warmest temperature. Also, the temperature settings, negative four to 302 degrees Fahrenheit. You can actually change it, switching radiometric mode. And then once it's in that mode, you actually have an option for 212 degrees Fahrenheit all the way up to 1,112 degrees Fahrenheit. You have all of this packed into this tiny thermal camera that is no bigger than my thumb. And it's easy to remove. Once you're out of the screen, just remove it from your phone and place it back in the included hard case. It's as easy as that. So your phone and a thermal camera, you don't have to lug around any big equipment. If you're hunting, fishing, hiking, uh, you could use this in an emergency situation. You can use this for automotive, uh, camping, uh, many different uses around your home. So the resolution on this tiny camera is actually, as I said, quite good. And, and you can see from your own eyes, and from the included videos, you can see this tiny camera is absolutely amazing. You have a 256 by 192 infrared image. The software upscales to 512 by 384. And there is a 15 times digital pinch to zoom. As much as I've been using this, it has not pulled hardly any power. It doesn't use hardly any power to run this tiny camera. About 0.3 watts from your device and it will actually run a total of about five to seven hours on a 3000 to 5000 milliamp hour battery. You have those 12 different color palettes. You have emissivity and there's distance adjustments. There's point line area measurements all from this tiny thermal camera. It does work with Android 6.0 plus only. iOS is not supported, unfortunately. I'll leave a link down in the description for this amazing thermal camera and I will have many more videos coming up very soon from Thermal Master. I want to give a big shout out to them. Thank you so much for sending this out. Nighttime videos coming up. Uh, I'm going to be going to a couple of different fields and looking around. I live in Nebraska, so there's a lot of coyotes, foxes, raccoons, many other different animals out there. So I will have any more videos coming up very soon. For more great videos, please subscribe down below. Thank you again for joining me, and I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye-bye. All right, we're going to do a fun comparison real quick. So just how big is the smallest thermal camera in the world compared to my shoe? Well, I'd say it's pretty small. <laughs> if you're wondering, that is a size 23 USA shoe. That is my shoe. And uh, yeah. So you can see this camera is so tiny. US quarter is slightly bigger, <laughs> is slightly taller than this camera. This is so small. <laughs> That's crazy.